Brashtar. Winja. Sushash Kartica. Uh, demos uh, we've shown some of the outposts one of them was uh, Udam so we have two different tribes in the game world uh, the Udam tribe uh, is, uh, is uh, more primitive they live up in the north so we've shown this outpost this time around we show a different tribe and a different uh, type of architecture and setting uh, it's going to be the Izila tribe outpost yeah and just checking if the players can hear us they should be so much French and in again, there. And again, correct. We're showing a pre-release beta version, obviously, because the game is not out. So you know, if you see anything weird, that could come from that. But the game is pretty, uh, pretty stable already. So here we see the, um, beautiful. Don't jinx it. Absolutely. The, the landscape and the scenery of oh. Oros. So we're more in the uh, um, east uh, in this uh, in this part of the game. There's a lot of different biomes. Uh, previously, we've shown the giant uh, cedar trees. Uh, and what we really wanted to show was uh, recreate uh, a time when nature was really majestic, much bigger than man. So we want mm. the, the nature to feel very big. Yeah. And we just saw uh, Julien you know, starting a fire as well. <laughs> really cool, but obviously. Because of the time, uh, <laughs> fire is a very <laughs> important aspect of uh, survival at the time. Yeah. And we just saw the weapon wheel. Uh, I believe he's encountering some enemies. Let's see. Let's see. And he's looking like Mizilla. And Mizilla Patrol. Ooh. Ooh. Nice headshots. Yes, this game, I mean, you guys have seen a bit about Primal, and you know that it takes place in the Stone Age. So we have Stone Age weaponry, but we've got a lot of Stone Age weaponry. And if you check the weapon wheel next to him, he opens it. There's actually a bunch of different things that you can grab. There's not just one bow and arrow. There's a couple different... There's different types of weapons, so you have uh, bows, many weapons, uh, spears, but you also, for each one, you have little dots, so you can swap them, uh, and so you can swap your arsenal, and they all have different properties, so some bows are better uh, long range, some are more rapid fire, so you, you have uh, a lot of diversity in there. And at the bottom, you have all the throwables, so you, Takar, is able to craft different types of, uh, of tools, bombs, these kind of things. Yeah. Uh, using bees, he's able to, uh, using a bee clusters, he's able to uh, throw them at, the, at his enemies in order to uh, distract them. Yeah, and I see that some users in the chat were asking if this is live or pre recorded. No, no, it's live footage. So what you're saying. That's why I'm not playing. <laughs> back, in the, back, in, oh. <laughs> back in the far, you were seeing. Uh, so this is night. Night is super dangerous. That's when the Predators comes out. So here Julien is very scared. <laughs> <laughs> so he whips out his uh, his weapon, sets it on fire. Nice. So all the weapons you have, you can set on fire. You can then use them to uh, ignite the world and also animals. And uh, with the fire, it creates uh, something that scares animals. So you can repel them at night. So it makes your traversal. Uh, and really obviously, cool. you can also set them on fire. Yeah, which, which I is think is a, a pretty valid tactic. Yeah. And we didn't see it so but just before we fire could see. And <laughs> And just before you could see the, the like a village from afar uh, behind you, I think Julien, uh, with like the lake. And, uh, yeah. So Far Cry Primal does go through day-night cycles. Yes. yes. And the, the, what's interesting is the setup for uh, for the location changes. So uh, depending uh, if you go by day or by night, the guards are, are doing different kind of things. By night they light the fire. They're more around the fire, playing music. So uh, it's a different opportunity. 
And, and here uh, we're at actually this is a, a quarry. Uh, so the easy lab, they're a little bit more advanced. They're already constructing things. They have this megalithic structure all around the world that delimitate their uh, their territory, but they also use it for uh, for rituals. So here is one of the locations where they would uh, start crafting these things. What's interesting for us is to show how the people were living at the time and how the different tribes are also living. Is that cave bear eating someone? <laughs> I think he is. <laughs> oh, what did you just? That doesn't throw? seem like a good plan. So. Part of the arsenal, so we showed the weapon, part of the arsenal of Tarkar as the Beastmaster is also his ability to tame uh, wild animals in the world. So this is something you unlock as you progress in the game. But here, uh, Julien is just taming uh, this bear. It's not a cave bear, it's a small bear. The oh. cave bear is like twice this size. Yeah, you can even so thank you for nice correcting me. <laughs> yes, it's important for me because I'm more about yes. accuracy, you know. <laughs> pet the bears, pet the bears. And yes. you're riding it now as well. And so, oh, this is oh, a cave whoa. bear. Okay. <laughs> All right. Fair and enough, that's fair completely enough. unexpected, right? Fire! <laughs> and actually, you saw the enemies are also using fire uh, against the, the cave bear. So, yes. I, but I, it doesn't care, I think. This, this Man, I think cave your, bear does not. Trouble, uh, <laughs> Okay. Run away! Yeah, yeah, so he's riding his bear. Yes, you can ride your bear. There's a few, uh, a few other animals that you can find. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it ate your bear! Oh, it did eat you. Oh my god. Okay. So bears are a little bit less scared by fire. Yeah, as we can see here. <laughs> so yeah, I also think they swim, yeah. so when you try to uh, for some of the predators, you can also go oh. in water in order to escape them, but bears, they swim, so... Okay. <laughs> the chat's asking, where's the Pokeball? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god, thank good god. job, good job. And so you can actually revive... setting off the world on fire. Yeah. <laughs> you can heal your beast even if it's down, right? Yeah. You just did that. Awesome. Right. Yes, food is used in order to heal yourself, your beast. Mm -hmm. It's part of the uh, economy of the game, so yeah. you need to hunt also to gather food. Yeah. And there was a little bit of a like a timer. Uh, you had uh, like a limited time. Yes, to, uh, when your beast is down, you have a limited time in order to uh, revive it, and uh, otherwise you can actually uh, resurrect it. But you need uh, some specific plants that you find in the world. Okay. Ah, so this is going to be uh, from the yes, the famous version. Beautiful. No, but this is going to be from the menu. Okay, and I think on the minimap we can see you nearing the the outpost that we yes. wanted to show. Have a blade up. Your beast is following you. Still on fire. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So the animals in Beastmaster they kind of react. I mean, you you can control them and kind of give them directions, but they also maintain their regular AI. Yeah, so if something's oh. going to happen. Oh, nice. And you it's just called to be, another oh. beast. To be systemic, they remain uh, systemic beasts, uh, but you can actually point them towards something. So if it's a, if it's a place, they're going to go there. If it's an enemy, they're going to attack it. I see Julien is going uh, the subtle road. <laughs> <laughs> I like his play style because very he's, quiet, uh, he's yeah. very, uh, very uh, subtle. Oh, oh. Yes. oh. <laughs> Sabertooth, take down! Oh. No! Nice. That was just a villager. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was it? It was in my way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, it's, it's still uh, we're changing a lot of the aspects of, the, uh, of Far Cry with this game, but uh, we also want it to remain Far Cry. So you will have your uh, your freedom of approach. Here, Julien is going uh, full weapon blazing in, uh, but uh, there, there's going to be uh, a lot of different approaches. You can go in stealth. So you have a lot of different toys that you can use as you are assault this place. And of course, oh. when you assault them, the alarms are rung, so the so patrols are going to come, uh, come in and. Uh, so and those are chief tanks. Yeah. yeah, the chief tanks are tougher and also they are... <laughs> and these are the B-bombs that are actually distracting Not so them. tough against bees. Yeah. The clusters. And everything is on fire. This and is so beautiful. The chieftains are better at fighting your beasts. So, uh, even if you have a, a set of weapons, there's a vulnerabilities also. So you need to manage the different types of units. And he has a kind of uh, area of effect, we see it, like when he hits yeah, the ground with his club. Yes. Oh, nice. So you as you, yeah, as you can tell, every weapon you can light on fire and you can throw every weapon. Which I think is oh, pretty, pretty cool. Pretty impressive. Damn. Yeah, you're killing it. So subtle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so subtle. Uh, so oh, oh you're Now he means business. He's got the double bow. Oh. Double boom. And uh, yeah, fire is an important part. We wanted the world to feel like it was very vulnerable. So <laughs> well, it obviously uh, okay. is. <laughs> <laughs> this was the uh, this is a bomb that makes his enemies crazy, so they will uh, turn and fight uh, any any people around them. Uh, this is something we develop uh, later on in the game, uh, which we steal from the Udam. Nice shot. 
I loved that saber tooth out of nowhere. Yep. Saber tooth out of nowhere. Take the hand. <laughs> and as you can see, like we're showing Julien playing it right now. This is for those who are wondering if it's real live gameplay. Hey, someone in the chat asked if you can ride a bear. That's how we started. Yeah, that's how we started. Riding a bear. And then it uh, was the back two, also and mama. Beautiful. Ooh. Oh. Okay, these chieftains mean business. Yeah, yeah. and now they're fighting oh, each of, other yeah, because he uh, used the, the, the yeah, poison bomb. Friend. Yeah. So this is another way of creating chaos and just watching <laughs> it burn. Okay, is this your last guy? No, oh, okay. there's another one. I think there's another one in the back, yeah. Ooh! Those chieftain area of effect uh, fire swings are pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Why won't you die? <laughs> Pretty strong opponent. Yeah. You have a lot of uh, diverse units, uh, oh. ranged, melee, etc. So as you progress also, you will encounter a harder version of them, elite version of them. And, uh, it's uh, uh. when you tag them uh, and you have the icon yeah, over their head, you have the information oh. also about uh, the Good type one. of units. Yeah. And that's... There are two that's enemies left. Cool. <laughs> so, yeah, I believe in you. Yeah, you yes, can do it. Can like, do I believe that it. you can... You can massacre all of you. <laughs> oh, in the foot. Oh, so obviously, kind of the uh, full-on assault is a fun way to go, but you're going to encounter a lot of resistance. Yeah. And the last enemy hits somewhere. Left. Yeah. Maybe they're kind of smartly hiding. Go. Yeah. They must be hiding in the in the house. Maybe. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> get him, buddy. Get him. And em. nice to transition to the um, to the day cycle as well. There you go, hiding in the bush. Yay! Oh, good no. job! <laughs> and that's how you deal with an outpost. And actually, just to put it back to perspective, because some you know viewers might have joined uh, midstream, but this is the same outpost that we saw before, but yes. played in a completely different way and played during the day. Yes. So, Julien, you're going to try to play it in a more, much more stealthy approach. Yeah, let's fire like, it, hopefully. Yeah. And yeah. you can take your time. Like, really, just take your time. Do it. Yeah. Try There's to like do it undetected. <laughs> <laughs> Remember like the bets that was done? Yeah, yeah. I think, in, yeah. in the outpost, so yeah. that'll be a challenge. So people in the chat were actually asking if we had flying pets. Yes. And if you could fly in the game. And I, I think, think technically we're doing it right now. So. Yeah, yeah. We are. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah. And you worked on a little bit on the... On the owl, on the owl. yes. Yeah. Uh, I did the, the concept for it. But it's still uh, very much inspired from real life. So what we did, we looked at different kinds of owls um, that we could inspire ourselves from. And since we always see it from like a back angle, we went with um, Great Horn Owl, which oh, yeah. has like the little tufts uh, on the head. So it has a much more interesting silhouette because mm -hmm. that, that'll be just how you see it from the back. Um, so yeah, that, that, that was uh, what we did for Beautiful. For the owl. And if you kind of noticed, <gasps> this isn't going well, bud. Um, <laughs> oh my. Oh <laughs> my. If you noticed, um, you call the owl in basically for recon. Yeah. So the owl was able to spot kind of all the different enemies. Oh. And just... if you noticed when he went into that gray vision, that's hunter vision. Yes. So you can use your hunter vision with the owl mm -hmm. and you can claw at people's eyes. So there's that. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can also drop bombs on them if you'd like with the yeah. bomb. But I, uh, I guess that wouldn't be very stealthy for this. Drop an so. owl bombs. Yeah. So. <laughs> it, goes, uh, it gives you a good layout of the outpost. And like you can decide whether or not you want to use that specific beast or try to attack from above or from the side or mm. at night or at day. It's really like uh, you, you have a wide variety of, uh, of ways to, uh, to attack an outpost. Yeah. And in this case, we're going to try to do a few if you, take them. If you this pull this off, well. man, if you pull this off, <laughs> this is not we going are well. really impressed. <laughs> you could even maybe try to uh, like free the, the bear, right? Oh, you're yeah. going to try to do hold a, on, hold on. a takedown? Yes. yes. And you can, yeah. That was brutal. Okay, not detected. Good. <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> I have to remind myself that we're actually on a live stream instead of me just watching this gameplay. Yeah. Yeah. And you're like, this is fun. You know. Like, it feels like I'm emotionally invested in JJ here making it through stealth. Yes. We actually have to try <laughs> to not to talk to him or he will be completely disturbed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. For uh, when he was doing it just assault, he's like, ah, I can yeah. talk to you. It's fine. Oh. Now it's like, no, 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 no. Yep, yep, yep. Gotta concentrate, gotta concentrate. Yeah, he can't obviously kill him. Whoa. Whoa. He can't obviously kill him now because then the, you know, all the, the other 
guards will see him. So... How many of the horns have you taken out? One. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Not a good angle. Because there are like three or four static ones and one sentry, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Two nice, sentries, nice. Actually. Two sentries. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, and you can see it because there's a little like logo on their on their heads, right? Oh, oh that's a good oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. I guess there will be a change of tactics. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I guess it will be. You the problem are is, very lucky exactly, that the we didn't no. have the uh, Mammoth Blood Challenge. <laughs> yes. Oh, you would be dead by now. So yeah. let's, uh, let's change uh, Plan B. <laughs> That's plan his B. name. Plan B is you call in a cave bear? That's his actual name. Of course. Oh, the cave bear's it's name plan is Plan B. B. Yeah. He, named, he named his pet. Yeah. That's and you're beautiful. freeing the second bear. <sighs> okay. But the important thing is, if you remain undetected, you can actually finish the outpost without anyone having known you went through it. Yeah, right? but that, that's a very difficult... If you want more of a challenge, <laughs> it's a... Yeah. I mean, I almost want to give, like, Julien a proper shout-out that I have seen him do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, it can it's be feasible. done. He has done it. But it is possible. Yeah. And it makes sense. We're during the day as well, so, you know, it, it's, it's more difficult to stay undetected. That's too. true. Last time we were at night. Yeah. So there's less people on Ooh, control. Nice use of the bee bomb. <laughs> I always love the casual brush off of the bees. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, ah, oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. This That's always great. happens. Ooh. I can see JC from the corner of my eye. I'm not feeling too good right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, JC is behind the camera and looks like, no, no. Mm, he's judging. What's happening? He's judging. Because on the minimap, you can see all the enemies. Yeah, <laughs> so if you want, nice we can actually restart the, uh, the outpost and try to do it again. You tell me. Can we? Yeah. You want to try? Uh, yeah, sure. I if mean, we can go back to the camera. I don't know. You tell us. Sure. Okay. I believe in you. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Someone in the chat minutes, said, though. this is also how my stealth runs normally go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is how most of the time This is why go. we brought you in, bud. Yeah, because yeah. if I had been playing it second one, I would have been noticed. Yes. Wow. I would have just been like, oh, there was a dude behind me. Cool, 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 cool. It's so difficult. You could see, any, see it in the outpost. There are so many guards. They are rotating. Uh, you, like... You could see the the, 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 the tanky guy, the, the chieftain that uh, was killed, but yes. right behind him. You couldn't see him like arriving and like turning yeah. in that room where you were with him. So it's actually uh, pretty, pretty delicate. difficult. Yeah, pretty delicate. <laughs> oh, JJ, the chat called you a noob. Oh, that's <laughs> worse. No, no. That's no. Right. Is that worse than uh, JC staring at you or...? Oh, I don't know. It's a, it's a mix of everything right now. No, don't worry about it. You're going to be fine <laughs> you know on the second try. Actually, I think they were out to hunt something like in the distance. Ah. I, I think that's what threw me off there, but I don't have right. any excuse, you know. Okay. All right. No, 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 no. It's, you know, it's an explanation. Lovely. Yeah. So Fantastic. do you think Julien's second try is going to work? Yeah. I have faith in him. <laughs> yeah. he, can, he can do it. Yeah, let's, yeah, yeah. let's believe in him. I, I'm, sure, I'm sure he can do it. You know? <laughs> and you know, that's the perfect example to say this is alive. You know, it's not pre-recorded footage. Yeah. But we expected him to succeed. <laughs> but it's fine. We have, a, we have a, several tries. And you know, it's more gameplay for you guys. So you can, you can see how, how the game actually runs you know, on a pre-released uh, beta version. <laughs> I have unfortunately given you uh, an internet nickname of JJ New. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh, my. oh no, you did. I hope it doesn't follow you for the rest of your days. No, no, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. I'm, I'm definitely calling a, you JJ Noob, though. Yeah, so we're, we're Noob, just resetting so. uh, the outpost. We're not ready yet. Uh, we're going to tell you in a second. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's interesting to see that things do not go according to plan, and then you have to come up with a quick solution, which was in this case the two bears, the one that he freed and well, the one the that thing was, was the pet. He definitely could have finished that outpost. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But he told us he could do it clean. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we're making him do it again. Yeah. That's all there is all to right. it. All right. Take two. Take two. Let's try it again. Godspeed, JJ Good Noob. <laughs> Wait. <do> you... <laughs> <laughs> okay. That that was just mean. <laughs> Okay, so again, yeah, to spot the enemies up. in the outpost, you're going to use the all. Really yeah, interesting. Yeah, that's, that's really, I mean... Yeah. They need the owl. If you're going to yeah, do yeah, stealth, really you need the owl. Yeah. Like, you didn't use the owl in the assault because it doesn't matter. No. But you need to know where all of those horns yes. are. And it tags them on the, on the minimap, too, so... See, this is what I was talking about with hunter vision. Yes. So it kind of shows you where all the important bits are and... If you're actually hunting an animal, mm. it shows you the tracks of the animal and the blood splotches. Yes. 
Love that owl takedown. Mm -mm. So badass. This is, this was one of the uh, the horn. Uh, the horn guys. Horn that was guy, okay. Uh, so. The sentry. So one yep. sentry is down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One remains. Oh, and someone in the chat said you should be very proud of that owl. It looks great. Oh, hey. well, thank you. Congratulations nice on your owl. <laughs> <laughs> Good job on that. Okay. okay. So, here. for those of you just tuning in, oh. JJ Noob Good is job. going to attempt to take <laughs> down this outpost full stealth, which will require him full concentration. to take out five alarms. <gasps> oh my. Oh okay. no. Oh, First one gosh. is down. Oh good. That's oh, okay. did you destroy your <laughs> the wall that you, there? <laughs> you could great, hide great. behind. Great, great, so great, if great, you great. were to free the bear, it would alert them or they would just you know, well, keep I feel like it puts them in a state of uh yeah, 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 yeah. panic and chaos. Yeah, he, yeah, can, yeah, he yeah. can't yeah. fully of control the situation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but they will be more watchful. So I think now the, the primary objective is really to try to get as many sentries and as many uh, horns, uh, I was about to say offline. <laughs> <laughs> Chad believes <laughs> in you, JJ. As, yeah. Chad's giving you love. <laughs> they think you can do this. To avoid any In JJ we trust. <laughs> in JJ we trust. Can I, I get fine art now? So this one should be Relatively good to go. Okay. Oh. okay. There's okay. someone behind Oh, God. You. That was a dagger okay, he's to the, the base of their skull. Oh, good. Oh, good. I think you would be able to also yes. summon one of your leopards or something to help you take this nice. stealthy. Yeah, why no animal, JJ? Oh, yeah. Well, you can uh, call your jaguar. No, no, he, he thinks well, he's got... He's probably too far okay. in right now, but yeah, that's a good point. And then he would have like used the same approach, very stealthy. Would have, would have been a feline, so it yeah. would have been like less, like more difficult to spot. I didn't. Oh, nice shot. Getting a lot this of love is, on the ambient is, game uh, sound. Yeah, that's pretty. Which impressive. we can't hear. <laughs> <laughs> we have I can make them silences for you, like... on the <laughs> side. <laughs> okay. How many horns do you have left? Do you know? I think one, there are one you guy only have left. one only guy one left. left? Yeah. Oh, JJ cute. Noob. Oh, we can't jinx it, though. No, <laughs> no, don't jinx no, it. You're right, you're right. It's, it's easy, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, From go the other on. way around. Yeah, looking at it is pretty easy. <laughs> <laughs> so three enemies left and one horn. I think you can maybe, do it. Maybe a bit more. Oh, yeah, yeah, four enemies. Five. There's one in the distance, I think. So that's one of the sentries. You can see it at, you know, the logo at the top of the, his head. So if he detects you, the first thing he's going to do... Yeah. Oh, nice. There you go. Oh. Okay, okay. Take down from above. Gotta redeem myself. Roy in the chat forgives me for the time in Far Cry 4 when I left the bear in the cage. It took a year and they a new game. They remember that? Yes. It took a year and a new game, but I've finally been forgiven for leaving that bear. Good job. Thank you. Obviously, I love bears and didn't mean to leave it behind. Yeah. Just to explain what happened, it was during a, a live stream. I um, just forgot to let a bear out of a cage. Okay. Doesn't matter. It's fine. We've moved on. <laughs> I've been forgiven. Okay. It's fine. It's going pretty mm. well. And I see that some enemies in the minimap don't appear red, but white. Uh, Those right. are like more civilians. Yep. I'm having a hard time. Uh, yeah, 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 those are uh, just simple villagers. Okay. He needs to concentrate. Are you trying to do a headshot? On wrecking yeah, havoc. stop talking to JJ Noob here. He's I'm killing sorry. it. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> sorry, lady. <laughs> so they won't attack, but they can still see me. They will raise the alarm. Yeah. But yeah, as uh, mentioned before, this is the same outpost that we um, went in first uh, before we attacked it at nighttime, and now it's daytime. And you'll see that the 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 enemies will have a different behavior based on the day night cycle. So it's it's pretty interesting to uh, base off your your strategy off that. Mm -hmm. I do like this time. It's not all on fire. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Last time it was. It looked very different when it was fully aflame. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. And the enemies have different kind of like attitudes too. <laughs> Oh man, we're seeing some some people in the chat saying kill the civilians. That's not nice. No, it's not. No. Oh, Don't God. Do it. Oh! No. <laughs> wow. That was beautiful. 
That was nice. Okay. JJ, you Good are no job. longer no, a noob. No. Good job. <laughs> Fantastic. Undetected. Okay. Um, set this up again. Yep. We're not trying to uh, spoil anything in the main story. We're not going to show you guys stuff that is going to be kind of very important to what's yep. going on. Because we don't, again, we don't want to spoil the game for you. Yep. We want you guys to pick it up and play through it and be excited on your own. Mm -mm. But we do want to show off a little bit more about the cultures yes. that you guys created for this game. And so we've got a fun open world mission. Yeah, this yeah. is one. This is called the uh, Spirit Totem, and the idea is uh, a part you haven't seen here. You've you've met someone who's told you uh, that uh, one of your fellow Wenja was going out in the world to place a totem, and he hasn't returned. So something's happened to him. So so your mission is now go uh, go find this guy, grab his totem, the totem, and you know and place the totem. Uh, spirit totems are, are important uh, to the Wenja. They're a tribe that is um, uh, uh, animistic. Uh, they believe in uh, uh, all things have a spirit. So not just uh, uh, people, but they believe plants, even uh, inanimate objects like um, uh, rocks and the tree. Oh, wow. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. The rocks uh, have a spirit. So uh, placing a, uh, um, a totem is a way to... Uh, uh, they want to place it so that they, they believe that the, then they have a spirit kind of watching over them. Okay, like so a, that's like a protection almost. Exactly, exactly. So that's why it's important for them to uh, place these totems. And you'll do that throughout the world, and this is just one mission that mm -hmm. uh, shows you about that. And uh, where are we? <laughs> where are we I'm in trying this to remember fantastic which, land of Uros? Yeah. <laughs> so nice. Oh, Ooh, okay. Already some, is uh, this the guy? No, okay. So this isn't the guy who... No. No. <laughs> this isn't the body you're looking <laughs> this for. This isn't the body you're <laughs> looking for. <laughs> but I think you've got to be careful because I believe there's uh, Udam. Uh, yeah, there they are. There's Udam around here. Yeah. In this area, so we're going to have to watch. It. Man, good, good shot, JJ. Man. Well, oh, good, good jump, too. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I, I think there's I would have definitely fallen on that one. Yep. And that is why we brought in JJ. the ringer. Yeah. <laughs> JJ. Yep. JJ Elite. JJ Elite. JJ He's elite. gone from noob to elite. I like that. That's nice. Fantastic. Okay. Um, so we are getting a ton of questions in mm. the chat, yeah. which we're going to kind of hold on to for a bit later. Yep. We but just know that we see you. That was uh, Hunter Vision you were using there? Which is great. Yeah, we, yeah. Uh, the Hunter Vision, I think we've talked about it a bit before, but it, it was Shoot important. Shoot a deer. <laughs> Shoot a deer. <laughs> yeah. Shoot a deer while you're looking for a, a spirit totem. <laughs> the, uh, the Hunter Vision's uh, important, uh, uh, an important feature. This is the Stone Age, and uh, survival was paramount, so, so their sense of uh, awareness of nature around them was, was key to survival, and, and it was highly tuned. So for us, we wanted to make sure we had this, this feature in the game that reflects that, and... Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it, it just highlights all the things you need to see. You can track uh, animals with that as well. You can track people if you wound somebody. Oh. I yes. find that in the game, I guess because... Oh my god, you're nice. just destroying these people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because we're dealing with a Stone Age man who is making all of their equipment from what was around them, I find it so oh hard no. to spot these guys. Because they're so well kind of camouflaged. Yeah, I know what you mean, right? They aren't. They, they, they don't have a bright uh, uh, red or uh, uh, like they're not really flashy in the in the colors, or you don't see a vehicle with headlights coming yeah. up at you. Yeah. Oh, and you just set him, set him on fire. Well done. That's one way to see him. <laughs> so yeah, several approaches to this mission. Yeah, someone in the chat noticed that animals don't always die straight on. Yeah. And they don't. I mean, unless you kind of really land a critical headshot. They don't die, and so you can use your hunter vision to kind of chase after them. Yeah, exactly. That's where the blood becomes important. And, ah, there Aww. we go. Okay, so we found Sorry, the totem. Found Poor this. guy. He uh, probably fell from oh. there or something like that. Nice. This is a kind of cool kind of cave painting. Yeah, I noticed that. Huh? It, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a. If you see that, right there. So what's cool? You see that? Uh, it's an indication. If you look up. Oh. There's a grappling hook. Oh. <laughs> so it's gives literally you, to kind of tell you, you that... It gives you a little clue that hence. you've got something up above that can help you climb. Okay. Someone did ask, is there a grappling hook? Yes. But there you go. Grappling claw. Oh, oh see, there's another claw. one. And if we yeah. look up, bingo. 
<laughs> yeah, I didn't even go. notice. Good eye, Kevin. Good yeah, eye. There you go. Yeah. Okay. You've still got some Udam, I think, uh, yeah. Yeah. roaming yeah. around yeah. after you. We actually have a winner from the last uh, the giveaway. Yeah. giveaway. So it's Ma Pilgrim. Nice. That one's Ma easy Pilgrim. to understand. Ma <laughs> to, uh, to yeah, Ma Pilgrim. Congratulations to you. Yay, congratulations. The Twitch moderators will you know, get in touch and ask you where you need the t-shirt and the hoodie to be delivered. <laughs> where is that? Looks like some bad stuff is going down uh -oh. over here. Uh-oh. <laughs> what is this? So this is what I love about this game. It's like, you know, there's there's so many more animals. Uh, so, it, you, like, you get your threats from everywhere. You get them mm. from the animals. You get them from the uh, from the uh, enemy tribes. It, it it really hits on that primal sense of mm. anything everywhere. and everything can kill me yeah. at any time. <laughs> or can Great de job. deke past you. <laughs> <laughs> and we've placed uh, the There we go. What and a beautiful like totem. It is You've nice. done well, JJ. Thanks. Ooh, good job. Oh, yeah. oh nice. Job. One last jump. Congrats. That looked a lot shallower, a lot more shallow <laughs> than it actually was. I thought, oh, yeah, no, that's right. not a good move, pal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, congrats. We kind of wander around. Give us a, a nice view of this. Scenery? Sure. Yeah. Well, yeah. Matthias loves his scenery. I do. So look, look to the, look to the, right up there. So you can see one thing that's cool. This is the Stone Age, and it's it's uh, um, after uh, the Ice Age. I was gonna well say, is after that a glacier? the Ice Age, but still, yeah, exactly. The glaciers uh, uh, in the game are are massive, like we like we mm. certainly never see on Earth now, and that's just a reflection of uh, the Ice Age that uh, receded really cool. out of uh, Oros. Really. Yeah, there's some beautiful vistas that show yeah. off just that sort of stuff. Yeah. The trees too. Untouched by man. Untouched by man. You get that feeling when you're going through here because the trees are so massive. Mm. Like even from here, looking at that one way over, oh, yeah. you know, we're far that's from huge. it, but you can see how big it is. Yeah. I think that's one of the things that kind of you have a hard time understanding unless you're playing the game is how much bigger everything is. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah everything from the, the plant life, the trees to the animals as well. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Yeah, like even the wolves, large. you get a good sense that wow, these are these are big wolves. I feel bad. There's like there's a lot of good questions in the chat, yeah. but it's a lot of stuff. That I'm like, I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> I don't want to spoil this for you. But it's a good transition. Should we move to the uh, the the next the next question segment? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's get some uh, let's get some questions. Some questions going. from the chat. Absolutely. Um. So. We've seen it a lot in the chat, and we saw it in the when we asked people to ask us questions on social. Um, will there be a story, and can you tell us a bit about it? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. There is a story in the game, uh, absolutely. Uh, you play as uh, Takar, and Takar is a um, uh, he's a hunter. He's the last surviving hunter uh, of his party, and they have been leaving a, a barren uh, land and heading towards Oros. And y the game takes place in the land of Oros. And uh, he's going there to meet more Wenja. He's part of the Wenja tribe, and he wants to meet more Wenja uh, uh, to reunite with his people. When he arrives in Oros, he finds that the, the Wenja have all been scattered uh, across... Oh! You were saying? No, I'm distracted. Oh, <laughs> JJ. <laughs> Oh, well JJ. done. Well done. If you'd used your hunter vision, you would have seen him. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh, so you arrive in uh, the land of Oros, and you find that the Wenja uh, have been scattered. They're not really a united tribe. So mm -hmm. uh, uh, they've been uh, um, attacked by rival tribes who are mm -hmm. fighting for resources. So your job is to, you know... Uh, Try to uh, uh, reunite those people, fight off the many predators that you're going to come across, yes, we have seen. Uh, as we've seen, and the Udam and other tribes, and uh, ultimately become the apex predator uh, in okay. the uh, in the world of Oros. Awesome. That kind of is a, a little high level uh, of the story. Yep. And, uh Man, these guys are just going for a walk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Yeah, they, they don't even see you. Oh, oh. oh. Wait, USA. Oh. Oh, dang, that's cold. He wasn't a warrior. No. <laughs> she was startled by an animal. Dang it, JJ. Okay. All right. Should we take it uh, 
to the questions that we listed from the fans? Yes. So oh, yeah, yes. Uh, we just went over a bit of the story questions. Yes. Um, so obviously, people who saw the trailer, yeah. people who are listening to the game right now, mm -mm. that's not English. It's mm, not English. No, it's not. No, definitely not. So that was a uh, that was a <laughs> something we thought about. Um, when we were starting the game, we were looking, okay, 10,000 BC, Stone Age, the, Mes uh, the Mesolithic period, there was no English. There was no, there was no, uh, l any modern language, any mm. of the modern languages that we have, they, they, ju they just weren't around. So, and we thought, well, do, you know, do we want to use that anyway? And we really felt like we want to make this game immersive. It's, it's immersive in terms of the art, in terms of the world, the animals you see. It should that should be reflected in the language. So we decided, okay, we're going to go and we're going to uh, create a new language. And we didn't just arbitrarily make it up. What we did was we looked at, uh, well, what do we know of the languages that were on there? There's no written history, but they do know that they spoke a version of what's called Proto-Indo-European. Mm -hmm. um, Fancy. Proto-Indo-European. <laughs> and they, they call it Pi for short. There you Fantastic. Go. Okay. Fantastic. So, uh, so we decided, okay, well, let's base our languages off of that. Uh, I am certainly no Pi expert, so we, <laughs> we went to the, uh, we, we brought some uh, linguists with us, mm -hmm. and they helped us uh, uh, figure this out. So it's Andrew Bird and Brenna Bird. They're, they're uh, linguists whose specialty is uh, Proto-Indo-European. Mm -hmm. And uh, JJ, I think you need to get out of here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's distracted now. And uh, uh, so what we did was we brought them on and they helped us uh, craft oh. the language. And not only just, we didn't do just one language, so the Wind just speak a, a language. Uh, the Udam also speak their own language, uh, which they just call uh, Udam. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a version of Winja. Okay. And then we have another like tribe. Accent. What's that? Like an accent of Winja. Accent, it's a little more simple, because <laughs> they're a more simple tribe. They're a more okay. monosyllabic sort of tribe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then we had a, have a third uh, tribe that uh, JC was mentioning called the Izila. Mm. And they're a little more advanced, and they also speak yet another language in the game. Uh, so you're going to hear those throughout. You've been hearing them here yeah. uh, in the in the game. Uh, oh, look at that! See, oh, the scenery. See, look at oh, the, this vista. The glaciers are fantastic. I love it. Yeah. And people have asked, can you kind of turn off the mini map, uh, mini map in the HUD? And like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, can. Yeah, you, yeah, can. Yeah, you, can. you said you played that way. Right? Yes. Yeah. You can I haven't played that way. It was you this? Mm. deadly. Yeah. No, but actually, you can. We're not going to show it now, but you can deactivate all the HUD and like just play it uh, with without that. any, Vision. Without any indications, which is you know pretty difficult and hardcore to play it, but you can. No, it's actually cool. possible. Yeah. Once you lose that like little targeting dot. Throwing that spear is just throwing and praying. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. Yeah, no, I would not be good in any of that. <laughs> I need my HUD. <laughs> um, and I think, because kind of people asked if um, if they're going to have to read subtitles. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, uh, well, as you saw here, you've been hearing Wenja, and there's, there's no subtitles. In the open world, we... We uh, didn't include subtitles because that just becomes too busy. It's it's too much to try and try and watch and play at the same time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, when you're getting missions, for sure, we 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 do want you to understand what's going on. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, the the missions uh, uh, when you're meeting new characters, those moments we're are going to be subtitled. Mm -hmm. And but what's interesting, what what we found is as we're playing, um, it's the the language there's a real logic to it. It really makes sense. And so as you're playing, we found that you're actually able to start recognizing some terms and picking up things. And so I think it's going to be cool. I think fans will be, uh, you know, they'll be able to understand a lot more of the language than uh, oh. maybe they might expect that they'll be able to. There's always a turtle. There's always or a tortoise, I guess. Leave <laughs> them alone, JJ. <laughs> <laughs> what have they done don't, to you? Don't hassle those. And there was a question in the chat from Dosaurus, can the crocodile move? What's that? Yes. Uh, there was a question in the chat, can the crocodile move? Oh, yeah. And oh, they thought it was just a it. stationary yeah, yeah, crocodile? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. they must have come in late. They just missed uh, JJ almost getting... Uh, oh. oh, no! JJ, get out of there! Get out of there, JJ! <laughs> Go in the water, you're gonna die. You're gonna die. No, it's good. Sorry. See, one of the, one of the animal behaviors that uh, we kind of didn't know about when I was playing through the game, was uh -oh. that... Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, no. Oh, that's a uh, bite no. fish. No, you're going to die. 
Bitefish sounds like a oh, no, real okay. kind of wenja. Just a cuddly little fish. Yeah. It's a bitefish. It was a, it's a good transition to another question that some fans had. Uh, what what um, type of animals would be in this And we saw. Yeah, so we've seen versions. a whole bunch. Uh, it was fun doing the, uh, you know, the, the prehistoric uh, period because we were able to... Uh, oh, you're dead. Uh, oh. 